Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Merry Christmas to you. Some of you are probably watching this on Christmas Eve. Hopefully you've been good and there's a sheep camp waiting for you in the driveway in the morning. That's the case for this young man. This is Bentley. Bentley really wanted to be on YouTube, um, but he was too shy to talk, so he settled for a picture. So this is Bentley. Hopefully you guys can reach out to him in the comments, tell him how awesome he is. But he's been waiting for this camp for quite a few months. Very excited to receive it. Um, has a lot of big things planned with his family as far as getting out, doing some all sorts of stuff it sounds like very outdoorsy family so we're gonna walk around this camp today kind of give you the tour on the exterior as well as the interior this is going to be a x25 camp so 19 foot living space and it's going to weigh in about 8200 pounds that's not something that i've been telling you in the videos as far as weight but it's probably beneficial for a lot of you in planning on what you're going to camp all sorts of stuff so anyways we'll go around the exterior of it and have a look I love how compact this little thing is. You should be able to get it just about anywhere you want to go. Plenty of ground clearance, um, nice and tight. So you can see it's got the Wayne's coat. This seems a lot of the videos that I've been doing lately of camps have all had this diamond plate down the side. Looks super sharp when it's cleaned up. This one does have the exterior storage boxes. Now these are bolt on. Okay, so if you decide, if you do have a camp and you would like some of these storage boxes, we can do them. I want to say they run right around 500 bucks. So if that's something that you're interested in, get in touch with us. But they did opt for these. You open them up. These are sealed just like any of our other doors. They've got this bulb seal around the exterior. And then a separate seal on that outside and then they're all enclosed so nice to keep your stuff up out of the weather and stuff there is that storage on the front um, that you can keep tire chocks and stuff but stuff that you want to keep out of the elements it's nice to have that storage there i will show you while i'm talking about that that storage up here in the front this latches and then you can pull this grating out. You can pull all the pieces out or just one piece, whatever you need to do to access your stuff in there. You can see we have the stabilizer jack handles in there, usually an awning rod, like I say, tire chocks, your sewer, if you got an elbow or anything like that. Um, just makes it nice to keep that out of other storage areas that are a little more usable so for some of your other things. So. This one has the two seven pound tanks. As you can see, it's not real warm today, but when we go inside, you'll see how cozy it is in there. So you've got the two seven gallon, 30 pound tanks there, your bully dog coupler. This is adjustable. So we can really fine tune it to your truck, especially if you've got an adjustable hitch on your truck as well. Then we can really fine tune it to where we can get it set up perfect. Got your traditional Dutch door in the front, LED lights for your porch lights, your broom holder. They did do the awning on this one. And as you can see, this one does have the outside LED lights. Um, if you haven't seen some of my other videos that I've done when it's dark, you can see how much light this puts out. Super nice feature. It seems like that's become very popular on a lot of the camps that we're building now too. Some outside lighting. We've done them to where you've got lights underneath these stabilizer jacks on all four corners. Um, lots of different options there, but kind of makes it a little more 
usable, you know, if you get to your campsite when it's dark or whatever, that it makes it set up a lot easier. This is your outside access door for your winterization, your water heater. This one, I don't believe has the camp shaft. Oh, it does have the camp shaft. So this one's got the pull out camp shaft. And then it's got, like I say, the lights above it. You've got your awning above it to where, yeah, makes outside living really nice. So eight lug, these are 60 or 7,200 pound axles. And then this one has two um, freshwater tanks, two 42 gallon freshwater tanks that are in here. And they're separated, so they have valves for each tank. So you can select a tank, run it dry, switch to another, or you can leave them both open. They've got separate drains, individual drains, so you can do either or. That way, if you don't want to pack that much water, you don't necessarily have to. Does have the receiver. This is all tied into the frame. No thin metal bumpers like you see on the RVs. This is rated to pull pretty much whatever you want as long as whatever you're pulling is not heavier than what your camp is. So it does have the seven way pin plug that um, is also wired for brakes. So if you do have a brake controller and stuff that will also work on your um, rear trailer if you're pulling doubles so your 100 watt solar panels you've got two of those these come standard and then this one where it doesn't have an inverter or heated tanks or anything has a bank of four six volt batteries you've got your solar controller if it'll focus there let me turn that line on so that'll run through everything as far as what our um, solar is doing. If I hit this button, it'll tell me that we're at 13.4 from the solar. And we're putting 0.1 amps in right now. So I'm guessing the batteries are 100% charged. So super nice feature. Keep things all topped off to where you don't have to worry about running your batteries down. And you have all your hookups as far as campgrounds, you know, whether it's shore power house, using it as a guest house, anything like that, it's all set up that way. Your wood box door, and this feeds all the way through to the inside. So you can get your wood and everything from the inside, load it up from the outside and not have to come outside when it's cold. So as you can see, we're plugged in, shore power. This is a 25 foot cord. So you can pull it out, plug it in, do what you need to do. Another storage box on this side. Your forced air furnace. And then your fridge vents. This one does have the air conditioner up top. So anyways, it's getting cold out here. So let's go in and show you what's going on in there. Like I said, when we were walking through the exterior, this does have the Dutch door. So the top half splits. You can open that top half, latch it to the side, keep it to where you can get some airflow through in there. If you're in a nice location, it makes for a nice view also of wherever you're at. So we'll latch that back up and step inside. So these have got to be some of my favorite color combinations. A lot of you have seen the Brazil wood. It seems like 80% of the camps that we're building are Brazil wood. Everybody seems to love the Brazil wood. But this is an antique barrel on the wood or on the walls. And then we have a granito amarillo on the countertops. And this is a dockside pier flooring. And then like I said, Brazil wood cabinets. Well, we'll start up here in the front like we always do. 
As you can see, this one's just a single door closet, still fairly good size closet. It is cedar lined. So this is also a pretty popular option. And then you have a section of drawers down below. These are big, deep, put a lot of stuff in there. Dovetail drawers, these are soft close hinges with the latches so they don't fall out. This one, as you saw on the exterior, that furnace was set down below the fridge to elevate that fridge. Most of the time we do that even with the big fridges, but this one has the smaller fridge and freezer combo. But having it elevated to where, you know, you open it up and it's easy to access makes it really nice. This is a two-way fridge also, so gas or electric. No microwave in this one, but they did opt to have their switches and stuff put on the interior. So it's all hid, so it's not on that outside wall where it normally would be. Propane gas light. Overhead storage. And they did the three burner cooktop in this one with some drawers below. And then also a storage cabinet there. You have your converter, fuses, all of that stuff down below, AC plugs, heater vents. This is that wood box I was telling you that feeds through the outside. Feeding your wood stove, as you can see, this one we just got, it's smoldering now, nice and toasty in here. It's probably, oh, probably 75 degrees in here. So nice and comfortable. I don't know what the temperature is outside, but it's a lot nicer in here than it is out there. This has also become pretty popular, um, these engraved blinds versus the curtains. We still do a lot of curtains, but it seems like we're getting more and more that want to do these shades. And they're nice just because they'll pull up and stay. Yeah, you your leather cushions, storage below. This one has storage um, on both sides as far as soup boxes and then the storage down below. Queen size bed. Like I said, it does have the furnace, so you have your thermostat there to control your furnace. No entertainment package in this one, so no stereo, but it is still wired for all of your antenna, satellite, all of that stuff. This one does have the TV in it as well, so they can do all of that stuff from all of their connections in the back. Pull out kitchen table. And then it does have the trundle bed also. And I'm not gonna go through and pull the trundle bed out. If you are interested in seeing how this trundle bed rolls out, there's several of our other videos that have me demonstrating how that's done. So you can watch some of them. This one does have the storage cubbies in it too to where you can put little stuff in there. A lot of people have said, you know, they keep their salt and all that stuff when they're eating. It's easy to just access all of that stuff from in there. So and you have more drawers, more storage, a big, deep stainless steel single sink. Overhead storage, these are on gas struts too, so they stay up while you're putting gear and stuff in there. Another thing too with these doors, these are all soft close hinges as well, so really nice. This is all solid wood, alder, naughty alder in this camp. And then I'll show you the bathroom setup. Medicine cabinet, mirror doors, your exhaust fan, little stainless steel single sink in the vanity. Underneath these sinks, these have the tip outs. 
and then that side has a drawer and then both of these doors have access to them porcelain toilet and then this one has the 24 inch shower pan so 24 by 32 is what this shower would be with the stainless glass door on it frosted bathroom window and then a lot of times this one doesn't have it, but we'll put towel racks and things, really whatever you want. Like I say in all the videos, these are all custom. So you pick everything from length to layouts to colors and everything in between. So I hope that you've enjoyed it. Like I say, I, I love these smaller camps. They just appeal to me just because of the places that I, I enjoy going to. So if this is something that you're interested in or you have questions about or anything, be sure to leave them in the comments. You can also reach out to us. Give us a call, 435-462-7325. Or you can reach us at sales at peakmountaincamps.com. Um, if you do leave comments in the videos, I try and get back to them as quick as I can. But I hope that you guys are enjoying your Christmas. Um, that you're surrounded by friends and family celebrating the birth of our Savior Jesus Christ. And if you're super good, I hope that you're doing that in a Peak Mountain camp somewhere. But anyways, like I say, if you have any questions or anything, reach out to us. We really appreciate you guys. You guys have been awesome to us. We love working with you. We love meeting new people. And we love the product that we build. So if we can help build your dream peak mountain camp, we'd love to help. So anyways, thanks for watching.